Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Stratterday. And Woo! Oh, and it feels good to be back. And we're also going to do a spec check with my friend, Brandon Soriano. Woo! Hey! So we're going to know everything. <laughs> He's going to tell us everything. How's it going, Brandon? Oh, it's going. It yeah. is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's going all right. Well, <laughs> we're tired. Say, I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, well, no, today was a fun day. Joe Bonamassa came yeah. by. Yeah. Um, and he brought a really cool Martin. You'll be seeing it. I think you'll be posting yeah. a video soon. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this weekend's going to be fun, too. We got yeah. some fun stuff. I don't got know something fun. Are we planned? allowed to? I don't no. Know. Yeah, I don't we'll think we're, wait. Yeah, we'll wait. You'll fun. find out. <laughs> but it's going to get pretty funny in here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah. we do have a cool guitar. Here, wait. Dare what? I say, uh -oh. it's gonna be off the chain. Oh, it's gonna be blue. great. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, that's, you know, that's fine. Okay. Hey, we have a really cool guitar for Strata Day today. We do. You look at the see? case. Well, look at this case. There's that's why I'm cases. looking at it. Okay, so in this case, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this is a Fender Custom Shop Master Built 1954 Strat reissue. Ooh. And it's backwards today because this is the side of the case that the uh, latches are on. So uh, this guitar does come with two cases. You get the period correct thermometer case, which is this guy, and you get a more modern, more protective uh, Fender plastic molded case. So that's really nice. Uh, there's a few different things here where they give you like a vintage spec option and then a modern option. So let's talk about this real fast. 1954, that is the first year of the Stratocaster. Number one, baby. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a reissue of that very first year. There's a few features that are distinct to the first year. We're going to start off with the sunburst finish. It's a two-tone sunburst finish. So we don't have that third color tone in the middle there. It's really just the two-tone colors. You also are going to get Bakelite plastics. So Bakelite was an early plastic that was used a lot. And it uh, stopped being produced. It has some issues with uh, deteriorating over time. I think on these reissues, they figured figured out a way to stop it from doing that. I mean, it looks like it hasn't it's deteriorated cool at all. It's definitely different. Though. Yeah, and fun fact, I mean, there were actually some early Rickenbacker bake light, like steel, you know, lap steel things that are really cool. You should look those up. But those also had the bake light plastics everywhere. So this sort of rounded off thing, you can tell that it's the bake light pickup covers because they're rounded off differently. So you're going to get bake light plastics, two tone sunburst, seven and a quarter inch fingerboard radius. Now that's a pretty round radius. When we're talking about a fingerboard radius, Radius, what we're referring to is how flat versus how rounded off the fingerboard is. And the reason it's a radius is because if you were to take the curvature of this board and continue it out to a full circle, the radius of that circle would be seven and a quarter inches. If you were to make a flatter fingerboard, that's going to be a bigger circle. So like a 12 inch radius or something like that. That's all it really is, just geometry. So this is a pretty round radius, which is vintage spec, as well as the V-shaped neck profile. Mm -hmm. Sort of a soft V actually. Yeah, soft. Maybe even sure. like a D type thing. There's yeah. a shoulder to it for sure. So a very cool neck profile that you don't feel on too many modern guitars. You're going to see a single round string retainer right there. And if we flip it over, we're going to see our, uh, Custom Shop Master Builder Insignia. This was built by Art Esparza, who is a revered guitar builder and uh, made this one himself from scratch. He grew the trees, he cut them down with the wood and everything. Wow. I don't know if that's true, but he did build the guitar. Wow, let down. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, getting really like, I know, wow, Johnny, I know, yeah. Johnny Appleseed. He has a whole forest in his backyard. It's pretty crazy. Um, you're not going to see a serial number on the neck plate. You are going to see it right there. Isn't that really cool? It's that's on the on the uh, cover back there. And also, these two screws in the middle, they're offset. That's a, a telltale sign of a real Stratocaster. A lot of fakes get that wrong, actually. Um, here's another quick fun fact. Notice how the holes don't exactly line up with the holes for the string throughs. That is because initially these tremolo systems were actually designed to float a little bit, which means that they would be lifted off the body a tad so that you could not only bend down, but you could pull it to bend up. Um, this one is decked, uh, so it's not set up that way as most people do nowadays. But if you were to set it up floating, then the holes would line up and that's why the holes are misaligned on a lot of early strats. Cool. Um, this looks to me 
I wonder if this is a quarter saw neck, because that grain is going real straight right there. Some wood professional in the comments give me your opinion on that, <laughs> if that's quarter saw or flat saw. Okay, this comes with a lot of goodies. Yes. So you've got the strap, you've got the paperwork here, the manual. Inside of this thermometer case, we get, first of all, the certificate of authenticity, which details that this was a limited run of 50th anniversary 54 wow. strat. I haven't built seen by those Artis Barza. Like that. This is like a pretty long, yeah. usually these just say like the name of the guitar. And the date, yeah. <laughs> and this is a pretty lengthy read up here. So that's really cool. And then in this little package right here, you know how they gave you two cases uh, for the period correct and then the modern thing? They did the same with the switch. So traditionally, period correct, this would have a three-way pickup selector where it's just neck, middle bridge, no shared positions. They do give you a five-way switch if you wanted to switch it out. Um, so that's really cool that you have both. We also have the ashtray bridge cover in there and of course the tremolo arm along with all of the uh, other paperwork that comes with it. And just so you can see, I guess we might as well show the inside of this case too, right? What do you think, Lemo? I think we should see it. It's black. It's black. Woo! <laughs> Fucking black! Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, so the guitar is really rad. It's It plays really great. It feels great. It sounds great. The checking is really cool. Yeah, really great. I mean, you know, the finishing on this is just awesome. It's not too much. Yeah, and you're also going to see in 54 a smaller headstock with the spaghetti logo. It's a little rounded off. So a very historical guitar, but it's a reissue, so you don't have to spend six times your life savings. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, you know, Mike's going to take it out front, show us what it can do. Let's see what happens. Woo. Thank you, Brandon. Thank, Thank you, Jen. You, Mike. Thank you, Jen. All right, we're out front with the Art Esparza Master Built Fender Custom Shop 1954 Reissue Stratocaster. Really cool guitar with a great neck. Um, looks like an ash body to me, too. Um, we're also going through a Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp. Um, starting off on that neck pickup, let's see what we get.
have it, your art. As far as a master built Fender Custom Shop guitar, it's a 54 reissue. Always a great guitar. The first year of the Strat. Um, uh, you can check them all out at normansrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, cool guitar. That was awesome, right, Norm? With the bake like parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.